Louisiana Beer Reviews, Bellhaven Scottish Stout 7% version. This is brewed by the Bellhaven Brewery in Scotland and is actually owned by an English company. Imported by Belucas Marketing College Station, Texas. All right, uh, the Bellhaven Brewery was established a long time ago. The earliest records they have of the brewery is 1719. It says head brewer is George Howell. This is 16.9 ounce bottle, a little bit more than a American pint. You ever get a chance? Go check out the Tampa Bay Rays in St. Petersburg, Florida. Here's a pocket schedule from 2006. Excellent, excellent place to go. Um, it's very cloudy. I don't know if there's a huge big cloud coming, full of rain, a rainstorm in the distance, so the lighting is probably poor. Uh, they use three different malt varieties according to their website. Um, good rating on Beer Advocate. 95 out of 100 on Rate Beer, and 95 out of 100 for the style and a most excellent rating on the beer and meat. So it gets pretty good uh, reviews. Don't like the clear bottle, but can't do anything about that. I've never had it before. I bought it at the HEB grocery store in the Woodlands, Texas. All right. Uh, I am seeing smoke. It's probably not showing up, but I'm seeing some, yeah, for sure. Was about to go over the top. As you can see, it's a very lively beer. Get a thick beige head and a just straight up black, bubbly, because I see the bubbles around, appearance. There is, with the limited light, there is some brown highlight around the edges, but that is about the darkest brown you're going to see. So it's nice looking. Let's go with the aroma. It's not skunk, thank goodness. Um, not a whole lot of smell here. Just pick up a faint malt, maltiness. Um, sort of like the, uh, what you get with the Heineken dark or the Beck dark. Yeah, especially the Beck dark. Let's go with the, now that head is breaking down. You see the bubbles are getting big. So the head is creamy, but it's breaking up. All right, let's go with the taste. Dark roasted barley malt, some dark coffee, some chocolate notes, smokiness. Not as smoky as the uh, Samuel Adams uh, Cinderbach, but it's it's pretty uh, it's smoky. Um, some sweetness, not a whole lot of hop bitterness. No, if you don't like a lot of hop bitterness, but you like malt, you're gonna like this thing. Okay. Not picking up any alcohol. 7%, that's pretty strong. I'm not getting that at, at all. I'd never guess it was 7%. Um, the mouthfeel is light to medium. It's not a heavy beer. It's just dark. It's not heavy. And the finish is very smooth and very mellow and semi-dry and easy drinking. Uh, people that or just a Bud Light or a Coors Light or a Miller Light drinker would be maybe scared to try this because they wouldn't want some something too harsh. Well, look, this is not harsh at all. This is a very mild stout beer, and I think it is a good beer for those who are trying to branch out, okay? And so would be Beck's Dark or Heineken Dark for that matter. Um, 
nice, sweet aftertaste. A um, little bit of coffee there. How would I rate it? I'm going to give it a B plus. I think it is very good. Certainly it's worth trying. Uh, if you ever see it, pick it up. I've seen the Bell Havens, the regular Scottish Ale around here, but I haven't seen this. And I would like to try some of their other uh, other beers of their line. All right. Uh, so, Les Ailes et Bon Temps Relay, this is a very good beer. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to Southeast Louisiana.